Yo guys, Lamin here and today I'm back with another video and in this video I've done on my old channel but this one's in HD now and in this video I'm going to tell you how to downgrade to iOS 6 point zero all the way to iOS 6.3 and 6.1.5 and 6.1.4 out there so I don't know so yeah now basically first back up your data before you start this this only works currently, right now, only works from iPhone 4, the 5, the 5C, iPad 2, and iPad 3. The 4S and the iPad 4, they're working on one for that one, but for now, it's not going to work. The reason why it won't work on the iPhone 5S, the 6, SE, and all that, because they are 64-bit devices. They are 64-bit devices, and the 4 to the 5C are all, no, from the first generation iPhone to the 5C are all 32 bits. So let's get it now, let's stop. Remember, back up your things because I'm not going to take responsibility for any data loss because you've decided to do this. Now, what you're going to do is make sure you have enough space as well. I'm running iOS 7.1.2 right now. So now I'm going to stop. So you need to be jailbroken. Then you open up Cydia. Allow it to load for a bit. Then you go to sources, you click edit, then add. Then you add the one in the description, coolbooter.com. You add that source, allow it to load and stuff. Then go into the coolbooter source, you click on all packages, and you download both of them and install them. Then restart your phone and then go back. You should see Coolboot on your home screen. Open that up. By the way, I'm trying this on an iPhone 4 and let me prove to you that this is an iPhone 4. An iPhone 4 has an antenna break at the top. And a 4S has one at the side, but not one at the top. Sorry guys, the phone is full. If you if this happens to your phone, you're gonna have to hard reset by pressing and holding the power and the home at the same time till it goes off. So guys, we're gonna have to wait. I'll be back once this is guys, I'm back now because the phone randomly froze. When you go back, close it. Oh, so anyway. As you, um, when you go into the app, it tells you to back up your phone with iTunes. I backed up mine on iCloud. This is my brother's iPhone 4. I have a 5C. I don't know how to jab it. So, now, it's waiting for the user input. So you can delete it if you want at any time. It just boots. You need your power button to work for this, or if you're using assistive touch, then that's fine. The clip boot it says, preparing to do iOS 6.0.2. Now it says lock your device for 10 seconds and then wait. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Now unlock it. It will light up a bit, just you just gonna have to wait. Yep, so now don't freak out at this point. And when it asks you if you want to jailbreak as well, I forgot while you're installing iOS 6. If you want, yeah, you don't have to. Then, when it asks you for verbal boot, if you want, go ahead. But I click yeah, because I couldn't be bothered about what I pick. I will put the instructions in the description in case you you're, you're struggling. Yep, there you go. Now it's just loading up. So you, all you have to do is just sit there and wait. By the way, do not restart your phone that often. If you do, you will get a connect to iTunes screen. And then you're going to have to start all over again.
so now it's done that quick and why is it back here yep there you go so yeah there you go now it just says sim locked so yeah i will be back as soon as i set i forgot this. to let you know guys that you will need a sim card and activate it as usual so yeah now oh that's really odd i haven't even pressed it okay so now we're on the home screen as you can see i got syria because i told it to jailbreak it's called the normal ios 6 feature things like voice control <laughs> call someone So yeah, let's try something like the camera. No, don't use my location. So you can take pictures. Then you want your photo. Now guys, if you want, if you're going to use this, and some people use emojis, so if you want emojis, you go into settings, general, um, go down to keyboard, go down to keyboard you click on keyboard and then you click on add a new one go down to e until you see emoji so you basically click emoji and then get out of it so let me close these two up. the old app switcher and then you got these as well so now you just click on that globe and then there's the emoji these are the old emojis so yeah guys that's basically pretty much how you downgrade to ios 6 now please like subscribe guys and yeah peace.